Hello and welcome to the show. My name's Hollywood Joe Tussing, and tonight we're going to take a look at the main event from UFC 227, the title fight between TJ Dillashaw and Cody No Love Garvin. So much like the first fight, we get a TKO stoppage by TJ Dillashaw, this time in the first round. Cody Garbrandt started the fight employing a few more kicks than he did in the first fight. TJ Dillashaw using his movement, using his jab, his unorthodox striking, really trying to find his rhythm against Cody Garbrandt who somewhat kept going straight forward, really trying to land his right hand. And that's what set up TJ Dillashaw to get the finish. About a minute and a half, two minutes into the first round, both guys landed right hands on each other at about the same time. Both stumbled back just a bit, but it seemed like Cody was going to that well a little too much. TJ Dillashaw was really working to time Cody's right hand and land the right hand of his own as he slipped outside of Cody's punch, and that's what he did. He dropped Cody to his back, was able to follow. Cody was able to get back to his feet, but Dillashaw had Garbrandt's number in this fight. Pretty much any time that Cody Garbrandt would throw a very hard right hand. Dillashaw was able to slip to the outside of it and land his right hand at almost the same time, catching Garbrandt off guard and really rocking him. The fight ending sequence was just magnificent by TJ Dillashaw. Got Garbrandt up against the fence, started throwing right hands. Uh, Garbrandt turned to face TJ Dillashaw and Dillashaw hit him almost square in the chin with the knee. Uh, it, it looked like Cody didn't know where he was, but he didn't go out. He was uh, still on his feet when Herb Dean stepped in to stop the fight. TJ Dillashaw, he would have he continued to beat on Cody in that, in that round, in that first round. So it was a great stoppage. TJ Dillashaw comes away, the 135 pound champion, and still it was just an outstanding performance by arguably probably the best 135 pound fighter of all time it's tough to see cody garbrandt leave the octagon on another loss to to the former alpha male fighter tj dillashaw uh it'll be interesting to see who he gets matched up with next and i'm super excited for the fight between henry cejudo and tj dillashaw can't wait to do a breakdown on that fight Super interesting style matchup there. Really excited for that one. Great card by the UFC tonight. 227 did not disappoint. A lot of exciting fights and great finishes. Hopefully 228 is the same. Until then, I will talk to you guys soon.